me, Penny. Um, today I'm going to take you through recovering a pretty big set of drum cells. Um, we're actually going to show you one or two in different pieces. This is my seven piece Ludwig drum set, five rack toms, two bass drums. I'm not recovering the snare drums. They are Ludwig Classic Birch. They were originally finished in the Ludwig Silver Sparkle finish. I initially tried to cover them over the Silver Sparkle wrap. That didn't work out. I'll take you through a picture of that so you can really see how the wrap stood out over the shell. This is one that's just the six skin wrap over the shell. And I'll show you how much better that works too. We'll talk about taking the wrap off the old shells, taking the hardware off, putting the hardware back on, rewrapping the shells, getting the drum all set from start to finish. It's really a pretty easy project. I am mildly handy, but I'm not very handy. So if I can do it, anyone should be able to do it over the weekend, even for a drum set as large as mine. Like I say, um, five toms and two bass drums. It was really kind of fun. This was a custom wrap from Six Skins. It's very me. This is actually one of their standard designs with a custom color palette. And I think it's incredibly pretty. So, yeah, thanks for joining me today. I hope I had trouble finding other people making videos of recovering drums. So hopefully this will answer a lot of questions and you'll see the process and realize that you can do it pretty easily yourself too. Okay, thanks. Here we go. So here we have the shell finished with the six skins wrap over the original Ludwig wrap. Can't really see it all that well, how thick it sticks out, but it really sticks out enough that the drum head doesn't seat well. And so this is one area that I feel like the, um, the information on the six skin site isn't completely accurate. Um, again, this is a Ludwig Silver Sparkle wrap, and so maybe with a thinner wrap, certainly the, the six skin wrap would work over um, a lacquer finish, where then there wouldn't be any additional width, but the two wraps just made the head seating, um, the head bind, the head bound <laughs> when I tried to seat it. So, um, and head binding was something I didn't want to deal with. So, I decided to remove the, the silver sparkle wrap. Okay. Okay, so here we can see the difference in exactly how flat the six skins wrap lays to the shell when it's the only layer of covering. There's the seam right there. So there is a little bubble out at the seam, but nothing compared to the two layers of wrap overlapped. Along most of the shell, it's really incredibly flat. So, as I said, I really recommend if there's a layer of wrap on the drum already, that you remove that wrap before putting the six skins on. The six skins would be amazing to protect a lacquer finish, but that two layers of wrap just really seem too thick. And the six skin wrap is really very thin, but even still, it, it really just seems too thick for the head to seat properly. And that's where like a lot of the sound comes from, so that's important. So this is taking apart the shell, really very easy, it's got to be easy if I can do it. Okay. 
Okay, so now we get to see how the six skins First comes thing I off. Need to do is I need to um, push the uh, mushroomed out edge of the rivet away from the edge of the drum. And that is what this is for. Okay, and so I think this is ready to be knocked through. Let's take a look at the underside. And you can see that this is already beginning to be pushed out. Sure. It's going to be pushed out a good deal more when I uh, finish doing that. And of course, I'm trying to make sure that it's even as possible all the way around as I am knocking. The rivet out. I was say, I thought it fell out. The trick oh, is to find the spot where the badge is loose, and if you can't, then it gets a lot more difficult. There it goes. And so you just lay the putty knife as flat as you can to take the badge off without damaging it because the badge is also stuck on with. And this is going to be the same for both wraps. I'm going to find the seam. It's probably going to be a little easier for the six skins. Um, put my putty knife underneath. I don't, I don't even think I need the putty knife with the six skins. Just pull up on that double sided tape. And so this is what the six skins wrap looks like and comes like. There's a piece of double sided tape that you just affix and, and I'll do this whole process in a second. But this is what it looks like by itself after it comes off. Um, still really pretty. I'm going to make a flat top screen out of it. Okay, so here's the, the naked Ludwig shell. Or not naked, but... Um, and I think one of the reasons I had trouble seating the six skin is because, um, if you can see, if you can get maybe to the side, it seems like Ludwig puts the wrap on and then drills the holes, and that seems, it leaves a lot of schmutz, right? Stirring out. Right. There, there's a there's a bubble where, where every hole is, and that really seemed to build up as as it went around the circumference of the drum, right, so that the slick skin, at, the six skin at every point couldn't yeah, lay perfectly so flat. So the blistering, the bubbling, right, really prevented the um, the, the six skin from getting so a nice tight seal. Now we're going to take off the wrap on the Ludwig shell. Um, when I got these drums, I was a little... I actually felt like I couldn't get a straight answer from Ludwig, or at least from my... my um, the people I was ordering them from, as to whether Ludwig was gluing the wrap all the way around the shell or just using a single strip of um, adhesive. And it turns out it's just a single strip, which means my job now is much easier. Um, so I just find that seam and go under with the putty knife. And most of the adhesive is on one layer of the wrap to the next layer of the wrap. There's a, there's a one strip of tape on the shell itself, but most of that adhesive is going to come off with the wrap. See, there you can see it. And it's not like I'm going to reuse this wrap, so I don't have to be too careful of the wrap. To have the seam up all the way across, you can just pull the rest. Okay, and so now as we go around the shell, you can see, right, it's a pretty naked shell. There's no, there's no adhesive on the inside of the wrap until we get all the way back around. And then there's going to be, lo and behold, very similar to the six skins, one strip of double-sided tape. This is a little bit tackier than the six skins um, wrap, although in fairness, it's also had um, 
it's had 11 years to set, right? So um, the six skins tape also takes a few days for it to set totally. Okay, so now we have a naked gel. And um, yeah, the next step is to scrape off this edge. <laughs> so you really want to start off with a clean slate when you're going to put the skin back on the drum and that involves removing this little strip of glue it does it is a little more than a little sticky you That's might pretty tacky. see it is what you'd call kind of tacky and it actually isn't quite as easy to get it off as uh you might hope whoa that's impressive what you get there um, well, this is a five-in-one tool. It's actually a painter's tool. It's used for flaking old paint um, off of the wood before you put on the new coat of paint. Um, sort of a combination of a putty knife and scraper with a, a scraping edge over here, a few other things like this. What we're using right now is a scraper. I actually tried using a few things to get this off. Um, I tried using just sandpaper. Um, and I will be using sandpaper later on, but this is a little strip of thick glue here that's now I've just managed to scrape off rather than sand off, and that is going to save me my fingers a lot of effort. The first